Welcome to Inkjet Carts Cartridge Nomenclature Video. The purpose of this video is to describe the key components of a refillable cartridge. It is not to discuss loading types of different types of cartridges. Instead, we're just going to discuss the key components. This is a special cartridge we have cut away so you can see the internal parts of this cartridge. We're going to discuss air and fill pathways and the internals of the cartridge only at this time. All of these refillable cartridges are similar even though some design construction differences may appear and some locations may appear in different places but typically all of these cartridges are so similar that we'll discuss this one. Christine, if you would remove the fill port plug. The fill port plug is best described as an empty pathway to the reservoir. If you would enter the fill port with the syringe, you can see that a needle tip will pass clearly into the main body of the reservoir. The needle tip should be placed fully to refill this cartridge. Christine, if you would remove the airport supply. The airport supply path is slightly different. It has baffling silicone disc to control pressure and it has many restrictions. An air pathway that leads all the way to the bottom of the cartridge and provides air separation. So your inks are never truly into direct air contact inside this cartridge. Would you enter the fill the airport please? and you can see clearly that the needle will not pass the first plastic inside shell. Uh, this is your first identification that you're in a wrong hole if you're trying to fill this cartridge. Okay, Christine, has that cartridge been penetrated? Yes. Okay, there is a valve seal at the bottom of the cartridge. Uh, please, please, uh, never try to remove this plastic seal as it contains the valve seal that seals around the printhead shaft. Would you show the printhead of an Epson typical printer, Christine? And go ahead and install that cartridge onto that shaft. And you can clearly see that the... Would you hold it up slightly, Christine? You can see clearly that the shaft is going to pass that plastic shipping seal, so never try to remove that. You could dislodge the seal. Okay, we're done with the printhead. The valve on this cartridge can sometimes stick. These cartridges are refillable in most models. 99% of them can be refilled right in the printer. Can you show the valve operating, Christine? and you can see the valve operate and it's spring-loaded closed. If this valve ever jams in the open position and you try to remove the card, it will leak some ink. So it's a good idea to put both plugs in the cartridge whenever you remove one, just to choke off airflow and you'll get no more than a drip out of it. If you can turn that cartridge upside down, we'll show delivery of the ink supply system. We do not want you to fill this cartridge this way. We are merely illustrating this. Pick up your supply. And uh, we just want to show you how the inks actually move through this cartridge. Go ahead and deliver some ink, Christine. And clearly you can see an orifice and a reservoir. And now inks exiting. Now if you turn that cartridge over and remove that, Christine. Turn that cartridge over and you can clearly see that you have an orifice tube that picks up ink from the bottom of the cartridge delivers it through a circle reservoir within the reservoir it then goes through an ink filter in the cartridge out another orifice that leads to the valve and there's your ink pathway inside the cartridge now Christine would you use the same syringe and deliver inks to the airport Here we're going to slowly deliver some inks to the airport. 
and you can see some tiny little reservoirs you can see some baffling you can see a pressure disc and you can see that air never truly made it to the main reservoir there's a dribble right there okay this allows the cartridge to burp and relieve negative pressure as you print inks from this reservoir and what you're gonna have here is a little silicone disc that's gonna burp allow air into the cartridge only enough air into the cartridge to relieve negative pressure so you can continue to pick up ink supply from the bottom of the reservoir and move it through the internal pathway uh, Christine would you pick up the uh, other type of cartridge now this is the same cartridge same basic design the only difference is the location of the fill and the airport and on this cartridge they're very close to together but the same conditions apply if you would remove those plugs please and we'll just insert a needle into both of them and show the main reservoir there you go main reservoir same condition applies you're delivering inks to the main reservoir and air supply same condition very short baffling you cannot insert a needle it would take you a long time to fill through this port main body plug is always where you want to fill these cartridges we'll discuss vacuum loading techniques and gravity loading techniques in a separate video this video has been produced solely for the means of your identification of the key components and so you understand how the cartridge works thank you Inkjet carts save 95% off of retail.